Creator, my name is Scott, and this is a tutorial on how to use hotkeys in OBS Studios. We're going to talk about how to click a key and automatically turn on a green screen animated subscribe button at any time during your live stream. Click a key and a sound effect will appear during your live stream at any given moment. And finally, switching a scene with a hotkey at any time. Now, I'm also going to be discussing a work efficiency where you can create a scene that contains a series of sources that can be applied to your other scenes. And it's very important to understand this concept because setting up hotkeys individually for each scene is a nightmare. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, here we are on OBS Studios. We have three scenes created. First thing I wanna do is show you how to switch between two scenes. Here you have it here. I have a uh, second camera. What's up? I have a second camera showing my fingers here just to prove to you that I'm actually switching these scenes with my hotkeys. So we are switching between one and two. There's one scene two scenes, one scene, two scenes. So I'm controlling the switching of these scenes with control, shift, one, and two. All right, so that works beautifully. Let me show you how that's done. I'm assuming you already know how to create a scene and how, you, how to add a looping video to each scene. Let's go into settings, and I'm gonna show you what I did. Settings, subchoice, hotkeys. So the first part, the first section, I know this looks a little crazy, but the first section, has to do with global controls for OBS. I'm not gonna really worry about that right now. I want you to get used to controlling the scenes that you've created, okay? So uh, the first section is for global controls like buffer, resetting the buffer and pausing and stopping and global controls. We're gonna control scenes for the most part. So let's scroll down. We've got one scene here that I've called, that I've created called first. Then I have a second scene called second. And as you can see, it says switch to scene and I clicked sh control shift one. So if I click this trash can, it'll, it'll delete what I've done there. I'll put the cursor back in there and I'll hit sh control shift and one and it'll add it right in. And then for the second one, I did the same thing by clicking control shift two. Then I hit apply and okay. And now when I hit those two things, they switch no problem. But it gets way more powerful than that because what you can do is add effects sound effects, add a subscribe button, anything, any kind of animation, any kind of sound effect, you can, and you can apply color control. For example, I'm in the scene called second, okay? And if I hit control shift G for green, I can change it to green color. Or if I hit control shift R, it'll turn it to red. Let's pretend someone gave me a super chat and I wanted to give them a, a, a thank you message. I could hit control shift T for text and it says thanks for the money. Now this is all done using these hotkeys. Now there's a strategy for this because what you need to do is you need to figure out what hotkey actions should be applied to all your scenes so that you don't have to recreate all these individual sources to every single scene that you create. The name of the game is to isolate all the effects, whether it be an overlay of text, whether it be a sound effect or a text message or a semi-transparent ping that you wanna overlay your scenes. You have to isolate or gather all those up and make it one scene and then add your hotkeys to the one scene. And then what you can do is, a, is take the single scene, which I like to call global because there are global effects that are applied to all your other scenes and add that global scene to the other scenes. So let me give you an example here. So we have first, second, and then we have one called three. This contains all the sources that I wanna apply to both the first and second scene without recreating them for those two. So what I've done, if you go to second here, you'll see that I only have two sources. One is the video of the asteroids, right? The other one is called 3-global. Well, that's actually the 3-global scene that's being applied as a source. This is why it gets really, really powerful in OBS because you don't have to recreate the stuff every single time you make a scene. It's a time saver. So. Uh, let's take a look at what 3-global has in here. It has the thank you message. It has the video subscribe button. Let's see what that one looks like here. There it is there. It's a green screen animation, right? We've got a sound effect, which is this, the laser sound and a hit sound effect, okay? And then we have the, of course, the, the green and the red. 
So I'm applying, I don't have to recreate these six individual sources for every scene. I can just import the scene into the other scenes and we're good to go. Okay, let me touch on how I assign these hotkeys to this thing and then I'm gonna assign the scene to first and show you that it works. Let's go into settings. We're gonna go look at the hotkeys now and the sub choice hotkeys. So if we go to the three dash global scene, it's allowing you to show and hide these individual sources, okay? So if I wanted to show the red overlay with, with a semi-transparency, I have to hit Control plus Shift plus R. If I wanna hide it, I, I hit Control plus Shift plus H. And it's a very good idea to always provide a hide hotkey so that you can turn off the effect if you so desire. So you saw that when I was in there, I, was, I showed you the, the red and the green. I was hiding them when I hit Control Shift H for hide. So show red is Control Shift R, show green is, is Control Shift G right here. And to hide all those colors, all I have to do is hit Control Shift H. And you do that all in here. Now I wanna talk about the sound effects. The sound effects cannot be applied in the three dash global scenes hotkey area. You have to do those individually in their own source designation. So these are individual sources. I'm, I'm sorry, it's called Start Media, which is Control Shift G for the, for the first sound effect. And the other one is Control Shift X, which restarts, which starts the media. And in order to stop it, the sound effect, if it's a really long sound effect and you made a mistake and you hit the button by mistake and you want to shut it off real quick, it's right back to the Control Shift H for hide. Okay. So again, always have that one hotkey that turns off all your stuff. It's just a good idea to have that set up. Now, upon you having that all done, we'll hit OK, and then we'll go to the second scene. Now, this, this only, there really isn't any hotkeys assigned to this thing. I'm going to go into the source, hit the plus button, and select scene, and select three global. And now, as you can see, I have all the effects right there. Boom. So as you can see, if you had like 20 scenes, you won't have to recreate all these individual events with hotkeys for every single scene. It is a absolute huge time saver. After learning this tutorial, you will conclude that you do not have enough keys on your keyboard to hold all your killer hotkeys that you've set up. There is a way to purchase a second keyboard. All you have to do is go to Walmart and buy it. All the instructions on how to do that are right here. Just click that button and I will see you over there. Ooh. Get some! Damn, I love you too. Rockin'.